Hi, my name is Brian Cathal, and welcome to this week's Ask Brian part of our weekly newsletter. You can submit a question. There's a link in the video description below. Also, you can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, there's, a, there's a link in the description below for that as well. Okay, so this week I decided to ask a question where someone was asking about the future of massive open online courses and massive open online uh, course specializations and general open education. And there was a second part of their question into how do we get employers to value these credentials? So I, as I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to think about this in kind of two parts. One is first describing the current state of affairs and then second describing at least where I think it should go or where I would like it to go. So in terms of the current state of affairs, um, as it exists now, uh, MOOCs are already highly valued as a secondary credential. So your primary credential is your university degree or your work experience or whatever you know all makes up your current um, CV or resume. Um, and then as an added credential, I think these are, are you know quite valuable. Uh, secondly, they're also quite valuable within institutions like a large corporation or something like that. If they, people want to retrain their employees, um, you know, having a credential or something like that for your internal training is quite useful as well. So that's the second already existing valuable use of the credential. Um, the third one is the credential, you know, sort of adds an extra bit of motivation for people to finish things. And I think this is especially important for people who are trying to switch fields. You get people, for example, trying to go into data science that are coming from a vastly different field. The credentialing helps them break into it in a way that they wouldn't have otherwise. Also in existence now are universities that are partnering with MOOC platforms to create four credit courses and four credit degree programs. Now, um, and Coursera is doing that. I know uh, there's some partnerships with edX where they're doing that and, and so on. So um, it, when I think about, when I look toward the future, um, I, I think some of the, these combined degree programs or, or MOOC only degree programs, you know, you could imagine a, a MOOC university uh, springing about. Um, I think these things will, will you know, be nice and will certainly add to the educational landscape, but probably the net effect of them would be to just you know, insert more competition and drive down cost in traditional university degree granting for credit online programs that exist already or the new ones that they're going to develop. And you can already see this with programs that are not partnering with MOOCs but are developing their own online programs but cutting cost. Uh, you know, and then you know that you, you have to decrease some services, of course, while you're also cutting costs. But but that's already happening, um, and you can already see this happening in the marketplace. But this this kind of isn't fundamentally what the person asking the question was asking about. Um, but I do see that happening in the future, and in, in, in the near future, in the long term, what I can say is what we've always thought about in terms of our ways in which we'd like to promote the credential, which is the the main credential that you get out of a specialization or a course is a portfolio that you develop. So we think of, you know, we think of a you know, data scientist, for example, in, in the same way we might think of an artist, in that you know, if an artist really wants to promote themselves or, or suggest their work to an employer or a graphic designer or something like that, um, they bring a portfolio. They show you what they can do. It's the, the fact that they have a degree from a fancy university, that's nice. But the portfolio is really, um, you know, really driving things. So one thing we like to strive to do with our courses is to to have kind of portfolio-based components to it, where the portfolio really develops the credential. The second thing that I can see occurring in the future is increased pressure from employers to actually evaluate what people know. So so more, uh, and you already see this in a lot of the big tech companies where their interview questions are really exams. You know, they're really technical exams that one would get from a university. And, and, and that is in a way kind of offloading some of the credential process onto the employer instead of onto these other institutions. I think, you know, this, this could happen. I think a secondary market could generate in, in uh, you know, instructors and universities creating materials to help 
employers evaluate potential employees because they'll come in with such heterogeneous portfolios that they're trying to um, you know, establish their, their knowledge, to, to establish their basis for their knowledge or to, to, to secure the employment. So I think that's the direction things are heading and I think that's the way that the credentialing will, will more likely work in the future and it has a high degree of, of potential success. Um, so for whatever it's worth, I would say if you want to use MOOCs in order to develop yourself and develop, um, you know, develop a, impress employers, I think one of the key components that you can do right now is develop a portfolio. You know, make sure you have interesting things in your GitHub projects, your, 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 your GitHub account. You know, make sure um, you know you you could contribute to some open source software. You could contribute to some some open data science initiatives, that sort of thing. You can have real tangible product. You could create a shiny app, you know, create data apps, that sort of thing. Um, these sorts of things are, you know, just really incredible ways of demonstrating your knowledge and utilizing the information that you get from the MOOCs in a way that separates you from, you know, all the people that are getting a similar credential. Okay, so uh, I'll have another video next week. Uh, keep those questions coming, and if you get a chance, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to our newsletter. So thanks a lot.